Bowman here from BW1.com and I'm going to show you how to set up the Kinect for your Xbox 360. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to actually set it up with an older Xbox 360 since uh, this, this is pretty much made for the newer Xbox 360 there's already a port on there on the new Xbox 360 that this plugs in directly too but on the older ones it uses a USB port and it's going to be pretty interesting how it works especially if you use a wireless adapter like I do so to get this to actually work you have to use the included extension cable for your Wi-Fi so you need to actually unplug it here and um, plug it into this extension cable and then stick it around to the front of your Xbox 360 and then plug the connect into this back port here since it's only one port there we go you have it plugged in then you just need to power it up because um, it, you, you need to use, plug it in USB and you need to use the power adapter if you're using the older Xbox 360s. I know for the new Xbox 360s, all you need to do is plug it in because it has a connect port of, available, which I showed you in the hardware hardware tour. Just, just You just unplug this here and that's a connect port there. That's on the newer Xbox 360s. On the older ones, this won't work. You have to use this adapter that it's already plugged into and snake your, uh, snake your Wi-Fi adapter if you're using a Wi-Fi adapter around to the front and then plug in a USB here on the back. But I'm pretty sure you can also plug it in USB in the front as well. But um, this is pretty much how, the, how they show you how to do it in the directions. So that's going to be interesting for some people. You're sort of going to lose sort of the... Uh, wireless sort of sort of look that you have with your older Xbox 360 when you just had it plugged it in the back via the Wi-Fi and had it plugged in USB now you gotta snake it around the front and in the front it's not gonna look as smooth so that might be disappointing it might bother some people there but I just wanna let you guys know that so you can see how that setup works so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this over plug it all up plug my power back in set this all up on my TV and then we're gonna go through the setup process of connect for your Xbox 360 Okay, we got everything plugged back into the TV here. Let's check out the Kinect for Xbox 360 setup. Oh, looks like we have a required update to use this device, so we're going to click yes and let it go through the update. Okay, we got everything updated and ready to go. Brings us to this connect menu here. Looks like it's uh, going through the controller setup. You have sensor play placement, speed recognition and chat, and play space. Let's click continue. Alright, letting us know that uh, the sensor has to be 2 to 6 uh, feet from the floor, centered above or below the TV. Place on a stable surface. We got the sensor placed. All right, it's gonna test the background noise now. This process will help improve voice commands and chat. Start by checking the background noise in your room. Shh, very, very quiet. All right, looks like our background noise level is okay. We'll click next. Speaker volume. Make sure your speaker volume is at the level you use to play games. This will check the speaker volume by playing some sounds. Let's turn it up just a little bit here. <laughs> Riveting music. <laughs> All right, let's click next. Microphone calibration test. This test will use sound to help orient connect in your room. Your audio setup may affect connects. Select more info for details. So let's click calibrate. We have to be quiet. Microsoft says to be quiet. I wonder if Galstein will go with this.
Microphone calibration complete. If you turn up the volume, you can turn it back down now. Okay, good. Let's click next. Connect has a built-in chat microphone for games and Xbox Live parties. Do you want to use Connect for chat? Sure, why not? Let's just hear, you know, 13 year olds yelling at me, calling me a noob tart or whatever they like to say out of there. Connect! Alright, setting up Connect. First, stand up. I didn't know I was sitting. One person only, please. Put down a controller. Make sure the area is clear. Move in front of the center. Alright, let's see if it'll let me align in the center here. Oh, let's me go. Let's wave. Hey, that was pretty quick. Hold your hand over a panel to select it. Let's hit uh, continue. Alright. You're all set up. Now let's go have fun. Well, that was sort of painless there after sort of the updates and calibration and stuff. Alright, we're at the, uh, they'll introduce us to some new features and stuff like that. But it looks like at this point, that's the setup for your uh, Kinect for Xbox 360. So uh, we're definitely going to show some more videos and sort of how Kinect works and interacts with the rest of the, uh, rest of the uh, Xbox 360, the new up dashboard update, because it's definitely designed for that. We're going to play around with some games, a whole bunch more videos to come. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter. And check out the link in the description. We'll have uh, this posting up there as well with a little bit of write-up, some pictures to show you as well. And we have the link to bw1.com slash connect, which is going to be the central location where you can find all the postings and videos that we do on the Connect for Xbox 360. And that's pretty much it. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.